if you are of a certain age and you're trying to decide what you want to do, but you're not quite sure what you want to do, some people, like myself, when I was around 18, I actually joined the military, and it was a good opportunity to do a lot of things, including grow up, including get away from the apron strings, as it were, and really start to focus on what you want to do with the rest of your life, and I got money for college for it, so it was really super cool. Here to talk about uh, those opportunities from the United States Air Force, however, is my good friend, Staff Sergeant Mike Summer. Good morning, Mike. Good morning, George. How are you doing? Uh, pretty good. Or should I call you Sergeant? That's it. Should I stand Mike's at fine with okay. me. That's all right. No problem. <laughs> now, you are recruited here in Santa Clarita, correct? Yes, sir. I've been here about Six months now. About six months. How do you like it? It's. Uh, I love it. Uh, Santa Cruz is definitely a beautiful town. It is very much. And and how long have you been in the Air Force? I've been in the Air Force uh, going on seven years on September. And what's your MOS outside of being a recruiter? What are you uh, well, the Air Force is called an AFSC. Oh, sorry. Okay. Air Force Specialty Code. <laughs> um, and my job, the title is non-destructive inspection. What we do is we inspect the aircraft for uh, cracks and defects and other discontinuities. And then we just go out and tell the next shop, like, hey, this is cracked. And okay. it's your turn to fix it. Uh, and that, that is actually something incredibly, incredibly important, especially as how often as you fly uh, missions of sorties out there. So Most definitely. Now, let's talk about an Air Force recruiter now that you, because you've obviously shifted gears from doing what you're doing, too. This is more of a, a almost, but not quite a day job, because you actually go out and do a lot of stuff in the community uh, in, in your day-to-day -day activities. But give me kind of a brief overview of what you do on a day-to-day on, on -day basis. On a day-to-day -day basis, uh, I mean, our day is planned planned out very strategically. Um, now that school's starting up, um, you know, I'll be, I'll, most of you will probably be seeing me out at the schools um, at least once a month for some of the schools, some of the schools maybe twice a month. Um, but we also get involved in the community. Um, obviously, I mean, I'm here talking with you guys today. Uh, we've been out a couple weeks ago. Uh, we stopped by the Santa Clarita Boys and Girls Club out in Newhall, and we spoke with the uh, the future of America, um, just to tell you know let them know hey you know pursue your dreams, don't give up on your dreams and all that you know whether it's with the Air Force or Army, Navy, Marines, or if you want to you know go to college, just make sure you pursue those dreams. Um, we also participate in career days in College of the Canyons. We were out there and um, try to get involved in the community as much as we can. Well, that's terrific. Now, you know, as a, as a recruiter, recruiting in the field and going out to these events, is there a certain type of individual or personality you're looking for in determining whether they'd be a good fit for the Air Force, or are you just kind of getting an idea and talking about people who are mostly maybe interested in uh, joining? We look for uh, all areas of the demographics, really. Um, but what, we just, what we're looking for is a you know, well-rounded person, someone that you know, has no law violate, no significant law violations. You know, some people have speeding tickets here and there. Um, you know, a few of those are okay. Um, you know, we look out, we look out for you know tattoos. But as far as like personality and the people, we're looking for the people that are excited to be joining the Air Force, or just to want to serve their country and do what they can to help out. Well, it's like people of character because I understand that. Now, name some of the top career choices that may interest recruits you know, thinking about joining the Air Force. The big one right now, what I've seen is uh, a lot of people have been interested in the pararescue pro, uh, career field, uh, combat search and rescue, para, you know, para jumpers. There's a lot of titles for them. Um, that is a very hard career field to get into. What I've seen a lot of people come into is they want firefighting, um, security forces, which is our version of military police, um, and a lot of computer career fields as well from what I've seen so far. That's what good. the Air Force is looking for is the mechanical career fields, electrical career fields, of course, special forces. We always need them. Um, radio and TV broadcasting, linguists. There's a couple more. Linguists, uh, computer programming, and uh, technical application specialists. That's and really what we're hunting for right now. And those are a lot of career fields that these uh, uh, once uh, exiting the Air Force, whether they, they stay in until re retirement or even just get out after their first term, uh, and can serve them well in the future. And speaking of this, what kind of what kind of time wise, commitment time wise are recruits looking at for the U.S. Air Force anymore? Is it four years, six years, or yeah, for the Air Force, it's four or six years. Now there are some career fields out there that will require a six year contract just because the training takes so long such as uh, air traffic controller, um, pararescue, they have a two-year course before they're even actually out doing the job. 
Okay, and uh, an example of type of benefits. I know that there there are certain things that uh, recruits can get aside from just a paycheck every month. Is there you know, college benefits, or what else can can recruits expect depending upon the field choices that they're going into? The recruits can expect a, a wide variety of benefits. Of course, education benefits. The Air Force provides up to 100 percent tu uh, tuition assistance to help them pursue any degree they want to go towards. Um, we are the only branch that has its own community college. Therefore, all of our training is college accredited. That when you're in basic training, you're, you're earning college credits. When you go through your tech training, you're earning college credits. When I completed my tech training for non-destructive inspection, I was pretty much halfway to an associate's degree in um, the non-destructive testing technology degree. So there's plenty of career fields out there that will automatically, just, just because you joined the Air Force, went through training, you're already on your way to a college degree. Well, that's terrific, and and that's really important for for young people to understand that it's not just going in and you you know this isn't this isn't the the 1940s or anything like that. Mm -hmm. This is actually where this is this is something you think of for your future and give you that bridge from being kind of a, a kid to being an adult and coming out ready to go and and really planning for your future. Staff Sergeant Mike Summer, United States Air Force. Uh, thank you so much for serving. We really appreciate the information you got. And how can people get in touch with you if they want to know more about um, joining? the Air Force. Uh, they can stop by my office. I'm at the Valencia Town Center Mall right outside the food court or you can give me a call at 661-255-5484. Outstanding. Thanks so much Thank for you, coming in, Mike.